Okay, this is the tile for the cherries and the creamer. This has been fired. Uh, you can see where um, the cherries are still light. This is a really pink bowl which will eventually get uh, more orange. Um, I have worked on the um, the creamer. I reinforced the darks that are in the um, uh, on the shadow side. I reinforced this uh, large dark that's on the tabletop. Um, uh, this is a still using uh, ruby and blue and I actually came over this little part of the creamer that is in shadow and I came up here with some of that color but uh, this is uh, a bluer uh, piece of uh, we have some nice pretty blues in here so I did come with a little bit more blue and a little bit um, lighter blue here uh, of course this has all been fired this is a second uh, application of paint on this and um, then I have put the little decoration on the uh, table cover and uh, this is actually just a little stitch that um, I, and in in this it's black but I thought that was just a little bit too harsh so I used a black brown and since it is stitches uh, and it does have uh, the table cover does not lie exactly flat as you can see uh, in this so when you do put your stitches in um, you know I had to pay attention to make sure they were fairly uneven and I just came uh, with a little stroke like that just a little straight and since it does go down into the fabric you skip and then another little stitch skip and another little stitch so that was put in like that then these are all little um, uh, what they call French knots in uh, embroidery so they were actually blocked in just um, I don't have all my brushes over here so they were just blocked in in a little circle like this and smoothed out and then I used one of my uh, older uh, wipeout tools <coughs> excuse me and this has a kind of a rounded edge and I just simply wiped out the little little circles like that until I got all of them. Can you see that? Yeah, okay. You can't really see them. Uh, I did put some uh, negative shapes in back of my uh, handle on here so that I could actually see the shape of my handle, the white uh, part of the handle. And that's really all I've done right now. I'm going to work on the uh, cherries. And um, uh, this, uh, of course, this shadow is the darkest shadow in the whole thing. Uh, this is a shape, a shadow connecting that connects to your background. So that is actually one of your uh, parts of your design. And then I'll have some shadow shapes underneath this. But uh, I do have to fire, since this is still wet, the um, cloth decoration. I'll have to wait till after that is fired to put in these other shadows. I'm going to come back. I'm going to do some painting on the cherries. And um, 
maybe a little bit back here, but I'll come back. I'll do a cherry or two and then uh, come back uh, with you. Okay, I'm gonna paint a couple of cherries um, here. Um, haven't done anything else. Um, I have left the very light side of the cherries uh, a red and I have used probably like a blood red on on there. They're not really bright like a, um, a true red so um, this one will be probably more that color but these are still pretty dark. So I have um, painted a couple of cherries and I'm on one down here. And I, this is a very light side with a highlight so I put that red in there. I'm using a um, uh, it's hard for me to paint and talk too so um, I'm using a ruby color and so I'm going to do that dark side of that cherry with a ruby. Use a little bit bigger brush. Okay. And I'm transitioning to that ruby color from that red color. So very softly we'll Um, then I'm adding just maybe a, t a tiny bit of black to my ruby as we go toward the back. Right up next to my highlight. Okay, and then around to the back. Now you'll probably have difficulty uh, really smoothing your ruby uh, if you don't have a really good one. So that's probably going to be it for right now. Now, it, I, I did go ahead and put some uh, color underneath here, which will be darkened. Uh, be sure uh, the next fire. Um, but it's just to, uh, you know, as if you are a china painter or a porcelain painter, then you know that it's easier to put the color on. Uh, once you've got some paint on there so all right and then this one over here see how dark that one is going to be so we'll just put um, another um, use the total ruby on that one and if we if it's too bright we can come back the next time Put some black on there to tone it down. And uh, I've never painted cherries before, so I'm really hoping these will turn out. Okay, I'm going to finish painting this one. Then I'll paint the rest of them and come back with you. There. 
it's good enough for right now. We want to be sure to take out our light stems before we fire so that those don't get fired in there. We can either put the color on next time. Oops. Color on next time. Wipe out your edges. Okay. And that one doesn't have a highlight, so we're not going to have to worry about that. If you want to come in and put some color in the stems, I'm adding a little bit to my green, a little bit of gold. I don't like that really green, green. And I prefer to have a little bit golden gold or green but those can be darkened later okay I'm gonna finish um, finish my cherries and then I'll come back to you okay I have blocked in my cherries up at the top um, using my ruby and my black um, I haven't worried too much about going around. They are all in shadow, and very few of them have the bright uh, lights, so they all kind of merge in with this dark background. So I haven't worried too much about each individual. I've come across them, then came back and wiped out the light areas that will be uh, will be actually red. Uh, okay, I'm. I think I might put a little bit of red. Uh, these have to be much darker, of course, and uh, I may put in <clears throat> some of these that are red. Uh, a little bit of red. This is a red that uh, fires nice and hot. So uh, if you have one that doesn't fire, because these are rubies, these fire very, very hot, um, then, you know, don't put on your reds until the very, <clears throat> excuse me, till the very last, um, last fire. Since I haven't done cherries before and this is you know always an, a new experience each one of my still life so uh, each time that I do it I am going to tr put just a little bit and we can both see how it turns out a little bit of red this is, again, um, blood red on these this red side. And again, I wanted to mention your edges. These uh, you can't really see in. Uh, in this where the edges of your berries are because there's so many that are in shadow. So the same happens here. Uh, you're not going to see uh, some of the edges like this, even the light edge, it does graduate in value right there as it comes from the dark to the light. So you don't want to make a sharp edge on that.
brush. That will be a lot redder. Okay. Then we want to make sure. I want to make sure that I I pull out all my stems, do all my wipeouts, save all my whites. Uh, that's pretty much it. I think I will just save the greens till the next fire. On my still lifes, I'm really not this slow of a painter, um, but on my still lifes, I feel like that um, I prefer to go slow and do glazes. Um, to, a lot of this is a learning experience for me. So uh, I like to think about it and not act too quickly. Uh, on a lot of things so I think this is pretty much going to be our fire um, finished and, and fired again I could do this uh, it has another um, layer this is a table or, or scarf over another table cover so I could go ahead and put that in but um, I think I won't um, I'll do that the next time there's a lot of detail in this front area uh, lots of little negative spaces uh, this is a crochet and this is a crochet so uh, there's going to be lots of detail in here um, this is pretty much going to fade off into the shadows back here eventually hopefully and so um, I, I could darken some of these stems back here uh, this time um, can't put any shadows. I could do this little uh, front uh, berry and um, she's going to be very, very light and bright. Um, so I could put some color on her, which I might before, before I fire it, but But I'll, I'll fire this, make sure I have all my wipeouts on my cherries. Uh, I would hate to forget to do my strong highlights on those. And then I'll fire it and we'll see how it goes from there.